హిందీగా చూద్దాం అవుతుంది ఇండిగో కదా టింగ్చోరియా సిచ్యువేషన్ బాగా బాగా కదా ఇండియాజీ <laughs> These have been supplemented by clinical observations and the place of indigo in the materia medica is now fairly well defined. Let's say tried indigo uh, in cases of epilepsy but with little success except in cases arising from the presence of worms. In, case of, in cases of worm fever he has used, worm fever he has used it with great effect. The patients who are children are from 10 to 12 year old, like years old, lymphatic, uh, apathetic, peevish, who are, uh, who ate a great deal. The symptoms were chilliness, cataral cough, coming on long, long paracetamol in evening, whitish, moist tongue, cover or foul breath, large uh, but soft abdomen. Diarrhea of 2 or 3 stools in 24 hours, like grayish pap, cover, ascarites in rectum, uh, even crawling out during sleep. That is also used indigo with success in the following cases. Semi-liquid diarrhea, 3 or 4 stools a day, uh, coming on especially after exercise, a eh? uh, stout old man, frequently given to excesses of eating. Chronic catar of the bladder, stricture of urethra after old gonorrhea with the plumbum and sepia, E.P. Colbe, uh, 1879, gave, uh, gave it in all cases of epilepsy coming under his care during 12 years with the result that he apparently cured 10% and reduced the frequency of attacks in many, oh, many more. The dosage is not mentioned but was probably crude. In the dynamic use of epilepsy affected by the by indigo, there has been great melancholy with the patient, uh, which the patient has sought to hide, spending many nights crying alone, or a furious excitable disposition before the attack and uh, mild and timid after. Uh, the attacks, uh, the attacks have, have been sudden. Apparently originating the solar pl- in the solar plexus, from which flashes of heat arise to the head, inducing a cold or fright. A peculiar sensation is an undulating sensation in the brain, which I have also observed in a case of epilepsy, benefited by Axia Resimosa. The indigo undulation causes obscured vision. A dry suffocative cough in the evening and after going to bed and a cough always attended by most weed are characteristic. S.P. Yant uh, relates the, uh, that he used in uh, indigo successfully as an uh, amenagog. Amenagog and then. Uh, having been led there, uh, there to by a discovery that a patient uh, of is habitually empl- uh, uh, of his habitually employed it to procure abortion. He gave it in, uh, in amenorrhea in one, one to four drachm doses. His uh, contraindications are important to homeopaths. In very, very large doses, he says, the crude drug produces nausea and vomiting. It should not be given to pregnant women nor where there is an irrit- irrit- irritable stomach. There is an irritable stomach, nor where there is the history of a previous pelvic inflammation, nor where there is a marked cerebral anemia. 
a case narrated by Nash brings out one of the characteristic conditions of Indigo. A hard working man over 70 gradually became unable to work. Weak stiffness all over, especially right side, arm and neck. Pain in the, in the night. Uh, uh, Right hip running down leg aggravated beginning to move after resting you can hardly turn over in bed. Appetite poor, stomach distress, 4 or 5 hours after eating, if he eats more than a very little, pains in the limbs decidedly aggravated after every meal, indigo cured promptly. There are marked symptoms of brachial and sciatic neuralgia which have this peculiarity. They, they come on or are aggravated whilst sitting and are ameliorated by moving about. Symptoms in general are aggravated by rest when sitting, ameliorated by motion, rising, walking, ameliorated by pressure, by rubbing, aggravated in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. The vertigo with a headache is ameliorated in the evening and aggravated in the open air. Warmth rushes to head on entering a warm room after walking in cold air. All symptoms are aggravated after eating and after uh, evening meal. Antidoted by camphor, maxanta, compare sulfur, epilepsy, sinking sensation, heart flushes, warm fever. Calibrum, epilepsy, acne. Atia retimosa, epilepsy with varying sensation in brain. Roostas, aggravated by rest, emulated by motion. U4, epilepsy, indigo, I, I, epilepsy, indigo, timid and low spirited bufo vehement and are, are excitable. Lycopodium aggravated after noon. Ignitia sad introverted. Bastasia with indigo. Wild indigo. And other leguminaceae. Mind melancholy, sadness, discontented, retired in himself. Generality. Pains which disappear entirely or at least reappear only with great, greatly diminished force after resting on the part affected or after scratching, shooting and tearing pains in the limbs in the afternoon and evening. Substantive skin 